I have no idea at all what is this car, but it's very beautiful. It's an electric car. So welcome back to another video and in this video today I'm gonna travel from Shanghai to Hongzhou by a bullet train which goes up to 450 km per hour. It's gonna be very good. I'm very excited for that. I need to buy a ticket and I have no idea where is the place. So in China what we have to do is you can use any translation app. I'm just gonna write here buy ticket and I'm gonna ask someone that where I can buy a ticket. Buy ticket. Buy ticket. My pal. I don't know. My pal. My pal. Let's ask someone um, and find a place to buy a ticket. Let's go. Hi, uh, I need to take it to Hongzhou. Do you want to buy tickets or pick up tickets? Oh, buy tickets. What time is the next train? Uh, the next train is about uh, 1 p 156 p.m. 156. But standing, no seat. Just standing. Just standing. Yes. And you must. It means you must stand in one hour. One hour. Yes. And do we have a ticket in the next if, train if after want, that? If you want to have a seat, yeah. Have a seat. You must wait about uh, 251. 251. Yes. This one. Look at the third and the fourth. Mm. <laughs> the one with the seat. The seat. Yeah, with the seat. Okay. So luckily the lady at the counter can speak English and I got the ticket. Now I need to go to the second floor. Uh, I have to go upstairs and I see a lot of people already here. Look at all these people here. They all are traveling. Okay. Just wondering here, you see, there are so many uh, fast food chains here, and there's some Chinese restaurants. Like there's so many options for you to eat on this train station. This is the gate 9A, and I have to go from here. And it seems like my train is already lined up. So I'll see you at the platform. Our train arrived. The train arrived. It's super good. The way they organized, everything is very good. Like they let you in just before 10 or 15 minutes of the train arriving here this one is g115 yeah this one let's go to Hongzhou so this is how it looks inside I need to find my seat I'll have to see there's so many people Problem here is in this. 
this train I can't see a speedometer so like you can't see a speed here I have seen in other trains when I was in Maglev one good thing about bullet trains in China is that they are fast and they're affordable like this one uh, cost me around $11 which is like 73 yuan uh, $11 for a bullet train like covering distance of 200 kilometer and it's fast the train and the platform where you get taller she just announced that we have arrived almost arrived I have arrived Hangzhou and so far the vibe in Hangzhou is so good uh, I will be exploring Hangzhou and other cities so keep watching and if you like the video give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video till then bye bye